With gesture navigation, apps can make fuller use of the display to create a more immersive user experience and are strongly recommended to do so. In this debate, I'll show you how insets can help you ensure that your immersive user experience is usable across devices in the ecosystem. Before watching, please check out the previous debates that cover how you can render your app edge to edge. You can find the links in the notes below. Once you go edge to edge by rendering your app from top to bottom, you may encounter some conflicts with both gesture nav and three button mode. Both navigation modes coexist in Android 10 and users decide which navigation mode to use. For example, here the app controls are hidden under the navigation bar, making them hard to access. This might not be super obvious with the gesture navigation bar, but it's even worse with the three button navigation bar. This is where window insets come to the rescue. Insets tell you where the system UI appears on top of your content. They also tell you the screen regions where system gestures take priority over in app gestures. Insets are represented by the Window Insets class and Window Insets Compat in Android X. No matter what your minimum SDK version is, we strongly recommend that you to use Window Insets Compat from Jetpack to have consistent behavior across all API levels. Before we focus on the new layered gesture insets, let's do a quick recap of the system insets. System window insets tell you where the system UI is being displayed over your app. These insets are dispatched to the view hierarchy whenever some part of the system UI, like the status bar, navigation bar, or on-screen keyboard is displayed above your app. You can use system insets to move your controls away from the system bars. To do that, add an on-apply window insets listener to your view and include the corresponding inset value to the view's padding or margin. In this case, we want to include the bottom inset since we want to move away from the navigation bar. And now switching tracks to Android 10. The Android 10 release has two new inset APIs that returns the regions where system gestures are prioritized over in-app gestures. These new insets are called gesture insets and mandatory gesture insets. Gesture insets return both the home gesture area at the bottom and the back gesture areas on the right and left edges of the screen. Any in-app swipe controls in these regions can be overridden by the system. If you have swipe-based controls near the right or left edges of the screen, users may accidentally trigger the back gesture instead. If you cannot move your controls away from the edges, you can use the Gesture Exclusion Rects API to partially disable system back gesture around your UI controls. But be very careful! Users expect to go back when they swipe from right or left edges. Creating a large and unnecessary gesture exclusion zone introduces inconsistent behavior with the system and other apps. This is why you should use the Gesture Exclusion API sparingly. To ensure overall consistency, there is a limit of 200 tips for the Gesture Exclusion Rex API on each edge. If you request more than 200 tips in height, the system will only respect 200 tips from bottom on either side. Moving on to mandatory gesture insets. These insets are a subset of the system gesture inset. They tell you the areas of the screen where the behavior of the system gesture will always take priority over in app gestures. Mandatory gesture zones can never be excluded by apps, although the system has some automatic allowances for text selection drag handles. Note that with Android 10, the home gesture region is reflected as a mandatory system gesture to ensure that the user is always able to exit the app while in gesture nav. If your app has swipe controls in the mandatory gesture insets region, the system will capture user gestures and your app may never receive these gestures. You should use mandatory insets to move your content away from the mandatory gesture region. If your app uses immersive mode, make sure to watch the debate about gesture navigation with immersive mode, which is again linked in the notes below. Also, we are working on making handling insets easier. Keep an eye out on the Android X release pages for more information. 
If you want to learn more about insets and other inset APIs which are not covered here, check out the blog post series from Chris Baines which is also linked below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Android videos. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to insert your app controls and swipe happily. <laughs>